I got a juice, juice. What's up, what's up, y'all? I am Kendra from Busta Blank, and you are watching Still Got the Juice TV. We have Brooklyn's own BMW, Black Man Working, K Red, also known as Drexter, in the studio today. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So, I want to know more about you. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get it. All right, so as you already know, my name is K, aka Drixter. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, Bushwick Project to be exact. I'm also the co-owner of Mystic Owl Records and Promotion with my boy L from St. Louis. So put us on to your two aliases. We have K-Red and Drixter. Where do they come from and how are they different? All right, K-Red is more of my street name. That's where I got my name from. I used to, like, I used to get in trouble a lot and things like that. So I developed the name of K. Also is my middle initial. And Drix is my childhood nickname. So just to give it a little different, like you got Lil Wayne, Tucci, Jay-Z, Jigga. You got, you know, so just giving it, you got Eminem, Marshall Matter. So you just giving a little flavor to the whole name culture. Understood. Give us one word to describe your sound. I say different. Definitely. Different, definitely different. When I first heard the Chipmunk single, I was like, this guy is definitely different. <laughs> you approached that track in a completely unique way. It was awesome. Thank um, you, thank you. You're welcome. You've been creating music for about 15 years, and I thought it was so cool that your mom taught you how to rhyme. Tell us that story. Oh, yeah. So, like, this had to be probably, like, way back in the day. So, um, like, like... Uh, yeah, for those that don't know, like, yo, like, I'm a, spe I'm a special ed nigga, you know what I'm saying? A little slow. So my mom was just uh, trying to teach me how to read words a little bit. So she picked up, like, rhyming words and, like, cat, hat. And then she used to play with the beat, huh? kind of like how we do with the kids nowadays. They got a um, whole anniversary ABCs just to get the click in the mind to it. So, like, my mom actually had put me on to that. So I believe the first one was, like, Dr. Seuss books. And we started working on that. And then, like, that started opening my mind to, like, how to rhyme words and how to put 16 balls and things together because the format of how it goes. So shout out to Mom Duke. I appreciate that for that. I love it. I love when parents peep the seed from young and they nourish it and grow to, into something beautiful. So definitely shout out to your mom. You've released seven music videos this year, and I applaud the dedication and consistency your latest video, Anybody, had a really cool masquerade ball concept. Tell us more about creating the visual directed by UK Hits. Well, it was supposed to be more like a murder mystery type of scene. Because what I try to do for is I try to go for something different. Like, just not always the same thing. So I try to get, like, that creative spirit in me. So basically a murder mystery ball. Um, I was basically filling a girl, and, and she was with a man. That's why I said I'm not just anybody. And then when the lights went off and things like that he ended up getting killed and y'all gotta watch it y'all gonna see it. it's pretty interesting definitely it really is you co-own a record company mystic owl records and promotions with missouri recording artist l that's a huge accomplishment and as an independent artist and a record executive what is one major lesson that you've learned about the music industry that people are snakes, grimy. I'm sorry, if we keep it above with you. People are snakes and grimy. And when you do this music game, you got to really love it from the heart because it'll break you. And I really love this from the heart because that's one thing I learned. Like, just people are really grimy, keep your circle small. And then when you're doing business, make sure you keep it on the business level. Nothing per keep it just like that. Death, like. For real. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with real. everything that like, you said. Grimy, just meet some grimy scums, managers, producers, uh, entrepreneurs, people setting you up like, man, I done been in Chicago and got, man, we've been in Chicago, I've been in Chicago and I've been at different, meeting different people and managers and stuff and getting jerked out your money. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's tough. I ain't going to hold you. Like, one, that's one thing you actually learned that. When you're an independent artist, like even signed to a label, like this thing is, is really serious. Like you gotta really love this. This is a crap. This is not something you could get five dollars from. Like, oh, I'm gonna get a big, I'm gonna get a bag. Nah, you gotta really love this because it's tough out here. 
So how do you deal with that? Well, I deal with it because I, I, got, I love this music shit. Like, I love this music shit. It's how a drug. do you deal with it? Well, basically, how I deal with it, basically, I'm going to just say one day at a time. Honestly, like, that's basically sum it all up. Just one day at a time. Just, you know, um, you get knocked, what Denzel Washington said, you get knocked down not ten, not nine times, you got to get up ten. For that's sure. That's basically how I do it. So what are three things that uh, you can share with those who are looking to found their own label? Um, so if you're trying to find your own label, then my f number one, please try not to do it by yourself. If you got somebody you trust, get into business with them. That's what we're number one because it's, it's, it's a lot to, to run on your own. It's a lot to run. Two, I always tell people you got to get your LLC, you know, and then get your then, or make sure you get your stuff always copywritten and make sure you got your ASCAP and your BMI. Always keep them on, keep those on point because I'm telling you, it's crazy. So those are the one things you want to have. You want to have somebody you can trust, your LLC, and your BMI or your ASCAP. Important, 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 important things. Important. If I can't stress that enough, thank you so much for those. Yes, completely agree. And you're passionate about health and fitness and you're a personal trainer, right? Yes, that is correct. So what made you begin your fitness journey and how has it influenced your creative process? It, it, it helped me a lot because when I first started doing when I first started doing music, it was like more out of it's still out of it was out of anger a lot. And then like I got into like fitness and I started working out because I was a heavy kid. I was I was heavy. I probably like 325 pounds to be real with you. I was heavy. And then when you're doing music, because I was with a when you're doing music. And you're on stage and it's time to perform, you out of breath. <laughs> That's no good. Nobody wanna see you sit there on the seat and just be so I had to trim it down and like it actually opened my mind up a lot more because now I know about like supersets and health and food and diet. And you could also create that into the um to the music too, because not everybody know about the street life. Some people know about just fitness and stuff. So you could look, you know, add a little blender to your protein shake. So what are your two favorite like go-to workout songs? Um, I say my first two go, I say 50 is my first what up gangster. That has to be number one. And then I'm actually feeling this, and I go for Pop Smoke, Dior. Like those are like my two favorite workout songs to get me pumped, just to get in it and hit the gym. Especially on the stress day. When you're stressed, definitely. I recommend everybody go to the gym. So what do you have in store for us for 2024. There's a lot coming to you, a lot. Like I said, shout out to J Flyer Entertainment. I got a whole tour set up. I will be in your city, Chicago. I will be in Detroit. I will be in St. Louis. I will be in, yo, know, you're gonna see me everywhere. I got a lot of things coming up. Also, I got drink, I got nightmare video coming soon. So y'all get ready for that. I'm very excited about that. Shout out to King Lynch for shooting that and filming that, yo. We appreciate you real real hard and also i got hop in coming soon as well y'all get ready that video yo, i'm telling y'all y'all feeling that song y'all gonna feel this video we got some dope visuals coming soon to y'all a lot and last but not least what does it mean to still got the juice still got the juice meaning that if you could do music for 10 years and keep on going and, and still feel like it's new that's how you still got the juice thank you so much for watching y'all i am kendra from Buster blank and we have K-Red, and this is Still Got the Juice TV, and it's a wrap. It's a wrap, y'all.